it's absolutely out of this world class because we've got an environment that uh, low earth orbit gives us access to that has conditions both internal in the microgravity environment and external in terms of the access to the viewpoint, the radiation, the atomic oxygen that you just can't get in any laboratory here on earth. We're really hoping that all of these investigators who come on board not only learn what they were hoping to learn, but make these wonderful discoveries along the way. Last year, uh, Scott Smith in the uh, nutrition study published some of our first data on genetic analysis of our astronauts in space. And this analysis is really the, the first use of genetic data on board the space station. It's an amazing paper and it's great and it's related to the vision loss problem, which is one of our top tier issues that we have. We're in this new era of genetic data collection. So a number of these projects like the biomolecule sequencer are responses to um, how do we make it easier to get COX payloads, consumer off the shelf payloads, into the space station and operating on space station. The end result of that is we get to these next generation devices earlier and we are able to get the data back to the ground quicker for the experimenters to ver verify and validate their hypothesis and then come up with that next follow-on investigation that may really hold promise for the future. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.